Hey y'all, welcome to the Louisiana Swamp Rat Channel. My name's Adrian, and I prefer to talk about all things related to Cosmos, the Cosmos ecosystem, and things related to Cosmos. My introduction into this incredible blockchain came from my large purchase of Kosh, which I believe in. Everything will be hosted if it has any quality or decency will be on a cosh moving forward. Any centralized exchange or decentralized exchange not hosted on a cosh can be shut down, can be censored, can be erased off the face of the earth. For instance, Uniswap, Sushi, any of those can, uh, can be removed. And so a cosh is the solution to that. So look into it. If you're watching me, you know about Akash. I love Akash, love the team. Um, I've learned so much from Greg Osuri. And uh, the whole Cosmos ecosystem, all the projects, it's just a big love fest as far as I'm concerned. Um, everybody could and should get along. There's, um, there's a bit of, tension or whatever underlying tension between the three dexes right now on cosmos there's osmosis which um, had the first mover advantage and i went in real heavy and deep on their lp pools at 3500 percent a year returns uh, their token price shot up from a dollar to over seven their market cap was about 750 million at the top but I think where they are now at about 200 million is, is probably a pretty fair valuation. SIF chain, depending on you know, what minute you look at, it's you know in the 20 to 25 million dollar range. So about an 8x to, to get where uh, osmosis is. And I it's my belief and speculation, it's all my speculation. exceeding the TVL. It's really about total value locked. How much money is on the platform? Because the more money is on the platform, the more money will be generated, the more staking rewards will be because more people stake. There'll be LP rewards, more people LP, and everything you need uh, for SIF, you, you have to have the row on token. So um, I just wanted to say that that's kind of where it's headed and that I'm uh, I'm really just a, a simple hillbilly redneck. Uh, I do have a finance degree, business degree from LSU and Baton Rouge. Uh, I'm from Baton Rouge. I loved it. It was a great place to grow up. Um, I do want to talk before I talk about crypto crypto and and I've got a got some surprises and some fun shit. Um, I do want to talk about this regulation stuff. I'm an American. I'm from America. Um, I've got to pay my taxes to America, even though I don't live there and I'll never live there again. But don't get me started on that one. The topic of the day is this um, government intrusion to try and destroy crypto. And that's what they're doing. They're trying to destroy it. They're, they're going after a, a real specific category validators proof of stake and it's it's all coming from a bunch of senile old 80 year old grannies who don't know what the fuck they're talking about have no idea that the world's built on proof of stake ethereum's proof of stake so okay so bitcoin's the only thing they're gonna allow give me a fucking break americans and the politicians specifically they can't get it together they, they can't get anything done nothing ever happens in America and I didn't bring a big enough jacket out here of course I left the house This, uh, this is my other house. I got two houses. And this is like a freaking 
Louisiana frickin' mud, mud river here. But if you look out there, you can't see it on the camera, but that is the ocean right there. So I live right on a little inlet. This is some nasty shit. Um, and those are some lots I'm looking at over there. They're, uh, they're like 10 acres, and they're about four, five million New Zealand dollars for a good one. And uh, I'd like to buy one of those and uh, basically build a mega house for, for the whole extended family, just like a big frickin' you know like 100 meters long a house and stack everybody in there and uh, of course with some dividers so so i can get some privacy and work and not be crazy but anyway so back to the regulations uh i'm not fucking scared of shit they they're not going to get it together i've seen that there's been some pushback already from some sane people and it's just a bunch of fucking nonsense you know they want to try and cover part of this infrastructure bill. It's like, give me a break, America. America's bankrupt, been bankrupt for about 80 years. We've got $23 trillion in debt, approximately. So them trying to fuck with crypto to get a few billion dollars, it's like, it's like a penny to them, you know? And it's all just, the Democrats, you know, like Obama, they spent more money than pretty much every president before them all together. So, um, and I'm, I'm not for that. I, I think the government should be real conservative and should be running on a profit and not printing money and doing all this other stupid shit. But anyway, uh, every once in a while, a few times a year, um, when something's just too crazy and it's too stupid, For, um, for crypto and just really embrace it. But that's just not the, 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 uh, the way it's going. People like Elizabeth Warren, she is bought and paid for by Wall Street, by big finance, by the major banks, and they're all scared of crypto. They're angry they miss crypto. They're angry they can't control crypto. And people like her should be run out of town Pelosi's husband uh, getting inside information and, and doing calls on stock trades and making millions of dollars. Um, this is my political comment for the day. If they were Republicans, they'd be in jail. But they get the Democrat uh, uh, criminal pass to do whatever they want. But anyway, I'm going to stop with that. And, um, probably know how I feel about things, but whatever. This isn't a feeling channel. This is an information channel. So speaking of that, let's get down to some business. I just really want to say that I've, I've met a lot of great people in this community, and um, one of them is the Coney of the Daddiness, and uh, you've made me do something today, which I don't think I've ever done. Maybe I've done it once, but um, you, you, you motivated me, and you made me do something different, which is... I took some notes and uh, I'm going to talk from them and uh, speak about you. So this is this is for you, Coney. You, Coney, Daddy. You're a badass motherfucker. So I'm just going to read from some of this stuff. I'll try and talk about it in a smart way, but uh, just going from my notes here. So I'd like to say that I'm not big time enough to have people take pics of my hands only to have Adams photoshopped in. That's cool. I don't have that. You've got people to help. You got cool graphics. It's cool. It takes a special person to have a video of them a video of themselves playing in the immediate background while they film a video of themselves. I'm saying that's you know that's some maybe some egomaniac stuff. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Keep doing it. Uh, a man who puts his feet up on a desk like that exudes confidence and I don't give a fuckness. That's cool. I like putting my feet up on my desk too because I don't give a fuck neither. 
What is that picture on the wall that is your Twitter pic, I think? I wrote in my notes, it looks like corn dogs. I got to know, but then I started looking like some kind of a pie or something, but um, I'm an attention to detail kind of guy and I was picking apart everything in your video. So let's see what else a crazy man who likes to observe crazy shit saw. Uh, the Cosmos flag and the IBC flag are fucking rocking. Those are on point. Um, my picks are a bit scary too. I used to send them to exchanges. Uh, I always look like a scary monster. Um, that's one fancy studio. Don't fucking front. That shit is, that shit is tight. Um, I think you need an aquarium in that empty space to your left opposite the screens. I think a, a nice aquarium with some yellow and blue fish would really fucking bring out those, um, video, the videos you take there. Um, and what's that can that you're drinking? Ballady, Ballamore, something. Um, a little distinction on Sif Chain. They are doing a twist on the Peggy, uh, the, the, the Peggy Bridge. So, um, Gravity Dex, Emerus, and Osmosis, they're working on the Gravity Bridge, and it's a different way of getting there. And they're nowhere fucking close. So, um, I was very unimpressed with Gravity Dex, Emerus, uh, announcing a release date, uh, but no product months later. Come on, man. They fucking released. Oh, Emerus is releasing Gravity Dex. It's coming out. Here we are. Um, okay, so it's been released and there's no front end. Nobody can use it. It doesn't exist. Um, we have no fucking idea how to communicate. This is crypto. People need to know what's happening. And we are absolute fucking dog shit at communication. Hire me. Talk to me. Be a real person. Relate to people. Touch people's hearts. That's the way you go about things. Be straight. Relate. Don't leave people in the dark. And then, so they, so then they came out and, uh, I don't know, a week or so ago, we are like, oh, well, we'll be releasing in August. Yeah, August 30 fucking 1st at midnight, if you're lucky, in Hawaii time. So I wish them all the best, but fuck, it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit to say, we're coming out, we're coming out. And then you have no user interface. Nobody can use it. And then it just goes on weeks and weeks of delay and months. It's like I used the Gravity Dex months ago, like you, Comey Daddy. So anyway, just a little rant. I mean, it's not like I, I don't have any bad will toward osmosis osmosis or emerus i i both hope they fucking kill it you know i i want everybody to succeed i'm not a maximalist in anything um except cloud computing that has to be because there's no there's no fucking room for anything else but um i do i just do have to point out um some shortcomings in their communication stuff so um Oh, I was just thinking about something, but I spaced out. Let me go down my list and see if I can come back. Uh, nobody, 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 nobody will have So, uh, what, $50 million in Tether and $300 million in Ethereum now and RAP BTC, USDC. There's billions and billions and billions of dollars that can come to the platform and that that just makes sif it just it places sif in a superior fucking uh position so if you haven't bought sif chain today in a few hours um in a few hours after you watch this video there's going to be a release of millions of tokens millions of 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 rowan tokens so uh if you're if you're looking to maybe buy at a discount uh today kind of later in the day in America, uh, but you can't use the decks, uh, in America, um, you could, you could see a, a serious drop in price, but I'm not selling, I'm not selling, I'm not selling any fucking SIF till over a dollar. It's probably going to get to a dollar and do a big sell off and everybody's going to be like, Oh, I got a dollar. I'm not starting till over a dollar. That's where I'm at. I bought... Sif, um, back in 
February, March, March, I think. And because uh, I read an article about it, I'm like, oh my God, these guys, if they pull this shit off, it's going to be a 10, 20, 50 billion dollar exchange. And then uh, the crypto lark's like, it's going to $10. So I bought about 95 cents. Sold it a few weeks later for 75 <clears throat> and it was always on my mind. And then, you know, all the alts went down, SIF chain went down, um, Kosh went down, everything went way, way down. And then I saw it at 10 cents. I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta, this, it's time, it's, it's time to go. So I, um, so I did. So I, I put, I put a few hundred grand into, into SIF chain and, uh, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> they're going to be doing IBC probably next week. There is something I do want to bring up is that SIF chain has had their problems. They've had their delays. They've had their um, token reward delays. There's a little bit of sun coming out. See if I can get it. You guys can't see anything. Look, might as well be easy out here. Anyway, um, SIF chain is still, it's, it's, it's a good buy now, but you might be able to get a discount on it. So that's all I'm saying. Um, let's see if I had anything else on my list here. Um, um, okay. All right, Connie, I'm not done with you yet. Um, that old school lamp lighting up your beautiful face is old school magic. I used to have one of those, uh, in my garage as a kid. Um, it's like a fucking painting lamp or something, you know, lamp, but they're badass. I love them. I love the dark room. The dark, the room's all dark while you light up the room. All the lights focused on you, Connie. Um, okay. So this is something, if there's any software developers out there that would be willing to, um, help me. I'll, I'll pay for your time. I'll pay for everything. But what I'm looking for with the SIF chain decks now, you can't use it in America. They're, they, they did this so regulations, regulators, and the powers that be in America can't fuck with them. Um, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure it's based in America, but they uh, the way it's set up now, if you go to the decks. You can't use it in America. It's IP blocked. I've talked with some people on the team, and they verified that if somebody else can run the front end from uh, and then connect with their back end, that the SIF decks could work. You know, I could, could be like fucking Adrian's AdrianSIFDecks.com. You know, whatever. But. Um, if there's any front-end developers, UI developers who think they can put that together or just do a copycat uh, and host it on a Kosh and have the, I, have, um, have the IP like here in New Zealand or something, um, reach out to me. I, I, I'm trying to gather more information. Uh, it's hard because the, the technicals of this from a tech standpoint are just far, far beyond um, what I'm capable of. Uh, I can, I can recognize good projects. I can recognize good teams. I can recognize good solutions <clears throat> that come out into our, um, to our cosmosphere. But, um, anyway, so if there's anybody, if you know somebody, uh, send me a message, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. I'm around. Um, it'd be cool. I'd like to get it done before IBC launches because if we can if we can open up Americans to easily buy SIF chain, oh my god, we're fucking just start counting the money. So uh, let's see what the next week brings in the short term, long term. Um, there's a, a bunch of tokens that are going to be released. <laughs> Uh, but that's months away. So it's after mainnet, after the um, Ethereum EVM. So like massive Ethereum, like every token, uh, they're going to be 
adding things like avalanche and then basically all the chains are going to come to sift so it's just going to be stupid um and then they're going to have margin trading margin trading on a dex that's why they can't that's why they can't let americans in it's um because that ain't cool in america my hands let americans do that so um You haven't bought yet look for that dump today and you know i um i can't be fucked uh, as far as buying and selling like i bought my stack and then I, I bought a bunch more at 23 cents a few days ago and uh whatever i'm not trying to buy and sell do all that it's like i got my tokens i think i'm in about a 17 cent average buy uh just kind of roundabout which you know it's not great but when that shit's a few dollars i'm not gonna be fucking crying um oh going back to challenges with sif i, I know a lot of people are kind of got over it they they had some issues and challenges i'm not gonna lie but who doesn't but <clears throat> posted something on twitter about sushi i remember sushi came out freaking rocketed up the charts and then they had a hack or something and um that shit crashed like 95 percent and some smart people who knew what the fuck was coming they they kept buying and then so from about it went from like six it went from a dollar to about nine dollars and then trailed all the way down to like 65 cents it's so like a 93 percent decline and uh, from that 60, 70 cent range, it went up to about $24. So uh, 40X or so from the bottom to the top. And then it came down, then it went back up to 20. And now it's at like eight or nine. The point is, is when I saw Sushi, it appeared, it looked like the project was dead in the water. It's over. It's not gonna happen. Stay away. But they, they rose from the dead like a phoenix. And that's that's kind of how I see the chart working. For Sif Chain, went to um, And then it lost over 90%. $1.40, 90% is um, 6 14 So, yeah, wait. It actually probably lost about 93 to 94% of its value from the top two. So if you can see a quality project, <clears throat> it's banging out cool fucking shit. That's what I did. And, uh, let's just see what's going to happen. So stupid. It's easy. It's always going to be cool. I wasn't going to bring the big bear kind of did. So, anyway, love you, Coney. Love everybody. Johnny, you're the man. Um, we're gonna get some more Sif Chads coming. I am Luciana. He's um, he's preaching it big. He's got a big bag, I think around 12 cents. He's got a bunch of so, um, I think you're crazy to not go all in on Sif. Um, if I had any more money, I'd buy more right now. So that's where I'm at with it. Okay. Love you guys. Peace out. Small friends here.